Okay, I'm gonna go over really quick how to make my version of the link card rig. Uh, it doesn't only catch link card, I've caught in halibut with this rig also. But it's a little different from everybody else's because um, my snail hook does not slide. I tie it up to be fixed and I give it about, um, it's about six, four to six inches to this treble hook. And at the end of this video, you'll see why. Okay. Here's a few of the things that you'll be needing to make this rig. I use a 50 pound P line, uh, floral or floral or mono, it doesn't really matter. I use a VMC treble hooks, size two. These are pretty strong hooks, they, they hold up pretty well. And I use a Mustad two, size 2.0. Two I like the uh, the coated ones with the, the red paint. It um, it doesn't rust as fast as the other hooks do. So, and you'll be needing some dual lock snap swivels and some barrel swivels, a pair of pliers, and a scissor to make this ring. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first you're gonna need about three and a half feet of leader line. Um, because what we want, or what I want is, I, I like I like about a three feet leader. It doesn't have to be that long. So I give myself about three, three and a half feet of leader line. Go ahead and cut that. It doesn't have to be accurate. That accurate, I should say. Okay. So first things first, I'm going to tie in my snail hook. Thread this in the eye right here. And give yourself about 14 to 16 inches of tag. Because you're going to need that line to tie in your treble. And how we're going to do this is, we're going to go ahead and make a loop like so and hold it with your thumb and your index finger in your right hand so this is it right here and what you're going to do is you're going to use with the tag end go in that loop and over and in that loop and over you're going to do this about five between five to seven times i like I like seven, but you really only need five. I just do it just because I like to be extra secure. So three, four, five, six, and seven. And then when you're done with that, you're gonna, with your left hand, you're gonna hold the hook and the tag line right so, and then you're just gonna pull this like so. And hold this. Hold the hook and hold the tag line like so. And then you're just gonna pull this and cinch it down. Like so. There, nice and tight. So that is fixed and secure. Okay, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna tie our treble hook on the end. Um, I just use a regular polymer knot to tie in this hook because um, a lot of times, well, f for those of you who go to rock fishing a lot, you know that uh, you know that you get snagged a lot, and the main culprit to the snagging is this treble hook. So I don't want to tie it too secure. Uh, the polymer knot should hold up really well. 
And to do the polar monot, what I did was I just kind of folded this line in half like so. And, um, and let me do it over. Just time, uh, I just fold this line about three inches, two, three inches, like so. And I'm going to thread this through the eye of the treble hook, like so. And just go one overhand knot, like so. Don't cinch it down. Just leave yourself a little loop right there. See that? Okay. And then with this opening right here, what you're going to do is you're going to thread the hook into this loop. There's one hook in. Two. And three. So, once you got all three of them in, what you're going to do is you're going to cinch it down. I'll just pull that knot down like so. You see that figure eight? And holding the uh, the tag end and the, to the, and the main line, you're just going to pull and cinch. And then until it tightens. Like so. And then go ahead and tighten that main line. And then with the pliers to the tag end, just cinch it down tight. And there's your polymer knot. Cut off some of that tag, but not too close. Because the slippage, you don't want to cut it too close. And there is my treble hook with the polymer knot. And uh, my snow hook with snail knot, I'm guessing. That is your treble hook, snail hook. And now we're going to tie this end to the barrel swivel. This is the knot that you need to um, make sure that's really secure. And for this knot, I'm using um, a polymer. No, not a polymer. I'm using a hybrid knot. So how you do that is through the eye and then back into the eye. Giving myself about three to four inches. And what you're going to do is you're just going to make a loop like so. Like so. Go under, over, and then under and over again. Two times. And then once again with this loop right here, you're going to um, thread the barrel swivel in and then you're going to pull it. And with this, uh, with this end, with the tag end and the main line, or the, the leader line, you're going to, you're going to slowly cinch it down. Some people use saliva to kind of lube this to make it easier. Um, you can use water. I don't really like to use the saliva, so I just kind of take my time and slowly do this so the, the line don't burn. And then once you're kind of close, Hold the swivel, hold these two lines, and just tighten. Like so. And tighten. Pull on this a little bit. And then tighten up the tag. Like so. Cut off the tag. And there you have it. And then if you want, need to add on the uh, the dual lock snaps, just add it on. However you have your uh, um, your pull set up. I use a um, I use a sliding uh, sliding sinker setup or a fish finder setup.
whatever you want to call it. And that is my setup for the link card. And here's a video clip of why you should do that. This is why I use uh, the trap rig the way I do. Because uh, a lot of fish get bit on this, this hook right here. 